pedigree in this event. They were gold and silver at the last World Games in 2013. They were gold and silver at last year's World Championships as well and uh, strongly favoured this year as well. Fabriana Arias is the second Colombian who will be seeing, I believe, in the next heat. And to Arias and Pajaro to the right there will be favourites for medals in this competition. First, though, they've got to get through a couple of rounds of qualifying, and off they go, jostling for position. The two Italians, will they try and work as a partnership? Well, they've gone into first and second here. The taller, younger Bonecchi leading the way with Bongiorno tucked in just behind her. Anka Voss is well placed as well, and Pajaro's got a bit of work to do. Now, she is the speedster of the quintet, and she's jostling with Voss, and Voss is not letting her through. So the Italians, as we take the belt, still first and second, and Pajaro lurking in fourth place. Has got to make a move pretty quickly. Only the first two will qualify. It's Italy one, Italy two, Belgium three, and Pajaro biding her time and goes down. And she takes Clemence with her as well. Albu has gone. Real drama here. The gold medalist from the 300 meter time trial, one of the red hot favorites, was never in this one. It's Bonecchi and Bongiorno going through, an Italian 1-2, and a heavy fall there. That's Clemence Albu still on the ground. She was taken down as Baharo lost control coming out of that bend. And we just have to hope that Clemence Albu is OK. She was never quite in it, Baharo. She could never get past Anka Voss. She was looking to try and attack the Italians, who worked beautifully tactically as a team. This is where they did the damage. They managed to get off early, get ahead of Pajaro. And Pajaro was always playing catch-up after that. Anka Voss in the light blue refused to give up that third spot. And Pajaro, the stumble there, goes down, and that's a heavy fall. That's really nasty for old Boo. There was nothing she could do about it at all. Just attacked too hard, lost her balance, taken down. And a really nasty fall there. So, the Italians... Just holding off Anka Voss. So, Julia Bonecchi and Julia Bongiorno can say, well, that's a job well done. As I say, the time's completely irrelevant. Anka Voss just run out of it as she was trying to pull Bongiorno in. But the older of the two Italian war, the chance of drama. Now we have one athlete who has not made an appearance. So just the five. I think it's uh, Lopez, the Chilean, who is out of this. So, just the five of them then. And Arias getting the good start. Now, unlike her compatriot, Arias, I think, has learned a lesson early here. She's got uh, Shayla Posada tucked in just behind her and Li Meng Chu. And already, they've dropped the other two. So, it's between these three for the two spots and Lee moving ominously onto the shoulder of Arias and Posada trying to stay with them Posada is going to have her work cut out here as they hit the bell Arias looking comfortable now she's made up some good ground on the bend there Posada now can she just slip inside and attack Lee off this last bend it's all going to be about the sprint finish she's done exactly that Lee could be getting run out of this Posada has skated beautifully off that last bend Oh, she timed that perfectly, the veteran Spaniard. Shayla Posada taking second behind Fabriana Arias, who was taking no chances whatsoever, having seen her compatriot fail by not hitting the front off the first bend. Arias deciding, you know what, that's not the way to go. I'm going to hit the front and I'm going to stay there. Li Meng Chu had second place, but... Shayla Posada was just tucked in. The early stumble there really knocked the Lola Bridget completely out of her stride. She was never in touch at all. Nor was Sonia Gak, the pole. It was down to two out of three. And Posada tucked in nicely in second place there. Got attacked by Li Meng Chu. He was on the outside here, holding second place. But Posada just tucked in, taking the short way round tucked into the slipstream there and then coming off that last bend just blew past for second best but the winner comfortably as well Fabriana Arias so 
are joined by Shayla Posada. That's the one two in this quarter final. Joining the two Italians. And there's confirmation. And there's Maria Moya and Rossia Bebel out. So Marika Tum, the German, is missing. So remember, just the top two going through, and Ingrid Factos trying to get off to the quick start. And getting punished with the yellow car. She was disqualified in the final of the 300 meter time trial. So the Ecuadorian having a tough time. Off to a slow start as well. It's Bebel out, the Argentinian that's off fast with Maria Moya tucked in just behind her. Yang in third place. Already Factos struggling and Glamkowska is out of this. Now Factos just trying to tuck in and join that group. So four of them are away and clear. Three South Americans and one from Chinese Taipei as they hit the bell. Bebel out continuing to maintain her lead here, but can she take it? Going in off this last bend as well. Now this is where the attacks are going to have to be made. And again, Factos is the one that's struggling. It's down to these first three, you would think, unless Factos has got a tremendous sprint finish. Bevel out, leading from first to second. And I think it was Yang of Chinese Taipei. Indeed, it was that got through in second place. So Maria Moya has been run out of this. Factos could never quite get on level terms either. So once again, it's the Argentinian here showing the value of getting an inside draw and getting to that first bend. If you can get into the lead, it's very difficult to be overhauled. She jumped out early. She always held it as well. And it's the others looking around. Maria Moya there in second place. Getting run out of it by Yang, who skated a very clever tactical race she's making her move there Ingrid Factos just trying to squeeze in but she had far too much work to do and she is out along with Maria Moya so this is not going according to the script at all is it Adriana Arios must be looking at this and looking at one or two of the uh, favoured skaters like Maria Moya, like her compatriot, Aharo. Gone, best side, and with two Koreans. We saw in Heat 1 the two Italians working together in partnership. If the Koreans can just block out everybody else, and Jong is going to pick up a yellow card for that. But if they can get off this first bend, if they can use that inside draw to their advantage, they could put themselves in a very strong position here, the two Italians. Shimek and Jackson will be looking to try and do something about that. And Solimar Vivas has some potential. And look at this, they're all just chomping at the bit here. Look, it's Alexandra Goss on the outside now that's uh, getting the yellow card. Well, Goss, probably the slowest in the field, and has got the outside draw as well. So her task is very very difficult indeed and away we go now who can get off the bend and uh, it's not a korean one two but Anne is safely in there and she's been followed by erin jackson the american and those two are going to take some catching already shimek is in third the second korean jong is in there as well and vivas but they've got a lot of ground to make up it's going to be a real surprise if the top two here are overhauled Anne and erin jackson hitting the bell Shimek trying to stay with them. The other two have got an awful lot of ground to make up. Now, Vivas looking to try and attack. But again, it's a bit comfortable, this, for the front two. Now, what could happen off this back straight? They're really going for it. Big attack from Shimek on the outside, but nothing doing. Anne and Jackson, as expected, first and second off the belt, off the, off the first bend. And both just too good to be overhauled. So... And the silver medalist in the 300 meter time trial, and Erin Jackson, the bronze medalist from the World Championship in this event a year ago, and the real 500 meter specialist, as expected, have safely come through. And the second Korean, Jung Yun Che, really run out of that early by that terrific fast start there 
from Erin Jackson, who was drawn fourth. But just make sure she pounced off that first bend. And she was happy, tucked into second place. As I say, times no relevance at all. Letizia Schimek in the red was always just hanging on the shoulder of Jackson, but never really threatened to make any kind of inroads. And indeed, that pretty much was established off the first bend. Vivas moving past Jong was the only real move in the entire group there, moving up from fifth to fourth, but it was a 